Hi everybody, my name is V and my partner is Higgins and today we are going to introduce in Metal Slug 3. Metal Slug is classical arcade game with lots of series around 6. It's a 2D platform shooting game which can be played by one or two players. The game has a simple cartoonish design with lots of color which is suitable for a wide range of players and it's really easy to get into the game due to its simple movement control despite the fact that the game content and the stages are really hard to play through the origin idea of the game is developed for the player who enjoy playing shooting games and challenging games due to the history background influence at that time many media entertainment content is about war and alien discovery Metal Slug is not an exception when we just start the game, in the main menu, as you see here, it shows six options, including main mission, multiplayer, gallery, settings, leadership, and an option to quit the game. Let's see main mission. Here, we need to select the mode first, including difficulty, such as easy, medium, hard, very hard. As a beginner, we strongly recommend choosing easy because you are going to die a lot although it's the easiest difficulty already. Just below here, there are two different modes, arcade mode and mission mode. Next, look at the multiplayer option. It's an online mode and in this mode, you can either invite your friends or join the online lobby. In the lobby, you can either join a party or create your, your own party. In the gallery, there are many different artworks of the game which can be unlocked throughout your gaming process. We have only completed easy arcade mode, so only 44% is unlocked in our gallery. If you want to unlock everything, play different difficulties and modes. When you get in the setting option, you can find 4 buttons. You can change player 1 and player 2 control key in the key configuration. The control keys have two different types. One is for the keyboard player and one is for the game pad player. You can choose some desirable language in the, dis I mean the language setting. The game comes with seven different languages as you can see here. You can also set up the video options like resolutions, windows or full screen modes etc. Sound volume can also be set in the setting. Let's start playing. We are going to play the mission mode. Here you can choose the mission that you want to start in. We choose mission 1, a couple of land, 2 player. We come to soldier select screen. We will choose our soldier here, the main object in the game. I choose Marco Higgins Tama and start the game. The mutant crab are our enemy on this beach. We need to shoot them down. Unlike other games, Metal Slug soldiers have no HP. You will instantly die if you take a single hit from your enemy. Since it is a 2D continuous game, since it is 2D continuous space game, where your soldier move does matter. Because every position and action will affect the next step respawn. But that is what makes the game both fun and challenging at the same time. Random items will drop throughout the game. Mostly you collect them for points, like this crab I am co collecting here. And this edge symbol item thingy is the a uh, heavy machine gun. Different guns have different capital letter symbol for it. After picking it up, your character can use the gun to shoot instead of the default handgun. Oh, as you noticed, at the top of the screen, there are indicators such as arms is the number of ammo you currently have. Default handgun has unlimited ammo. Next to it is the number of bombs you can still throw. Then there is point indicator. One up, two up are the life count of the two player. 
When you run out of life, the player will ask whether you want to continue. If, he, if yes, then you can select all the soldiers to continue the game if you want. Sometimes you will find special vehicles on the map that your soldiers can control. Some vehicles have its own HP. The HP bar is shown in between the points and lives indicator. When the vehicle's HP is depleted, you are forced to jump out of it in a short amount of time or it will explode. And your soldier will die trapping inside of it. Every mission ends with a boss fight, which is very difficult and takes a lot of time to take the boss down. After we beat the boss, the scoreboard will appear showing the number of prisoners you saved in the last term of lives. You usually have none because we died too many times and the number of prisoners is reset. Yeah, so that's all about the Metal Slug 3 game introduction. If you find it fun, then download and play it. Highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.